Now the question is consider a parabola y square equals 4x. Now we have this parabola. And then it says we have this point P minus 2 comma 1. And from this point, tangents are drawn to this parabola. Which touches parabola at points P1 and P2. Now, focus of this parabola is S. And in this case, A is 1. So, focus is at 1, 0. Now, it says, we join these. S P1 and S P2. Now Q1 and Q2 be points on lines S P1 and S P2 such that P Q1 is perpendicular to S P1. So from here we have dropped perpendiculars. This point is Q1. And from here, this perpendicular is Q2. Now which of the following is or are correct? Now what we'll do is we'll take points P1 and P2 in terms of parameter coordinates. Now P1 is a t square 280 and a is 1. So this is t1 square 2 t1 and p2 is t2 square 2 t2 and we know that point of intersection of tangents is given by a t1 t2 and a t1 plus t2. Now a is 1. So this is t1 t2 and t1 plus t2. So from here we can say t1 into t2 is minus 2 and t1 plus t2 is 1. Now from here we we'll put the value of t2. t2 is 1 minus t1. So it will be t1 and then 1 minus t1 equals minus 2 or it will be t1 square minus t1 minus 2 equals 0. We can write t1 minus 2 and then t1 plus 1 equals 0. So from here we will get two conditions that either t1 is 2 or t1 is minus 1. Now, if we take t1 as 2, t2 will be minus 1. So, in this case, value of t2, it will be minus 1. And if we take t1 as minus 1, we will get t2 as 2. So, we will get two cases where either t1 is 2 and t2 is minus 1 or t1 is minus 1 and t2 is 2. Now, if we take t1 as 2, this is 4 comma 4 and if we take t2 as minus 1 this point it will be 1 comma minus 2 so now we have coordinates of p1 and p2 now for the second one p1 and p2 they will interchange so in this case p1 will be 1 comma minus 2 and p2 will be 4 comma 4 now we need to find q1 and q2 now basically we will find equation of this line P1S. Now this is y minus 0 and slope of this line will be 4 by 3 x minus 1. So this equation will be 4x minus 3y minus 4 equals 0. Now for Q1 we will find foot of perpendicular from this point. So basically it will be x plus 2 upon 4, y minus 1 upon minus 3 and this is minus, now this is minus 8, minus 3 minus 4 upon and this is 25. So it will be x plus 2 upon 4, y minus 1 upon minus 3, now this is 15 upon 25. And 15 upon 25 is 3 by 5. Now this is 12 by 5 minus 2. 12 by 5 minus 10 is 2 by 5. So in this case value of x is 2 by 5. And here it is minus 9 by 5 and plus 1. So there will be minus 4 by 5. So value of Q1 will be 2 by 5 and minus 4 by 5. Now we will find equation of SP2. Now basically both the coordinates there are 1. So its equation is simply 
x equals 1. So for q2, x coordinate is 1. Now this line is parallel to y axis, so this line will be parallel to x axis. So in this case, its y coordinate will also be 1. So value of q2 is 1, 1. Now the first one is we have to find sq1. Now sq1 is under root of now 1 minus 2 by 5 is 3 by 5 which is 3 square by 5 square plus 4 square by 5 square which is 1 and sq2 also is 1 so it doesn't matter whether we take first case or the second case sq1 will always be 1 so that means this option A is incorrect. Now second one is value of q1 q2. So now q1 q2 is under root of now this is 3 by 5 whole square so it will be 9 by 25 plus and this is 1 plus 4 by 5 9 by 5 so it will be 81 by 25 so it is 90 by 25 and it will be 3 under root 10 by 5 that means this option b is correct now if we look at pq1 pq1 will be 2 by 5 plus 2 so there will be 12 by 5 whole square 144 by 25 plus 1 plus 4 by 5 and there will be 81 upon 25 and it will be 225 upon 25 which is 9 so this value is simply 3 so that means this option c is also correct now sq2 s is 1 comma 0 q2 is 1 comma 1 then clearly sq2 is 1 that means this option d is correct so the correct options are b c and d